How's everyone doing today? So I'm here with Captain McBag at Hartford Armory. Uh, we're looking to put together a quick program for everyone. Uh, with all the stuff going on, we know a lot of people are stuck at home, so we wanted to come up with some great workout ideas that you could do at home uh, with little to no equipment. Uh, so as we go through this particular workout, this particular workout is focused more on upper body. Uh, we do have other workouts that we'll be creating shortly, uh, and we'll post that up so everyone can see it. Uh, for this particular workout, we're going to be doing eight different exercises, again, focusing on the upper body. Uh, for a couple of these exercises, uh, if you don't have any dumbbells, kettlebells at home, uh, you can easily substitute that with several different things. Uh, if you have your duffel bag, you can fill it up with some heavy weights. Uh, use that uh, gallon jug, fill that up with some water, sand, anything to simulate having a weight. Uh, use that in lieu of having either kettlebells or dumbbells. All right, so we're gonna kick it off going into the first round. Captain McLeck here is gonna be demonstrating. The first exercise is gonna be the push-up. For this, you're gonna do about 15 to 20 repetitions. Notice that he's keeping his body in a generally straight line from the top of the head all the way down to his heels. All right, he's gonna move into about roughly 15 seconds, no more than 15 seconds worth of rest in between the exercises. The next exercise that he's gonna be doing is the prone row. This is the same exercise that you do in the Army PRT. So once he's done resting, he's gonna move straight into it. For the prone row, you're gonna do 20 repetitions. You're gonna make sure that you're squeezing the upper back nice and tight at the top, contracting the scapula in the back of your shoulder blades, as you can see he's doing here. Notice that the contractions are slow and controlled. He's not rushing through the movement. Just making sure to get full range of motion, pulling his elbows as far back as he can. All right, once complete with the second exercise again, taking no more than 15 seconds worth of rest, he's gonna move into the inverted chair press. So for this exercise, you're gonna elevate your feet using either your couch, a chair, whatever it is that you have at home to elevate your feet. You can see that his body is in a generally L-shaped position. Here he's gonna knock out anywhere from 15 to 20 repetitions of the inverted chair press. Now if you need to regress this exercise, you can bring your feet down to the ground and use your feet on the ground in it, keeping your body in an L-shaped position as you go through the exercise, as he's showing here. Again, no more than 15 seconds worth of rest between the rounds. The next exercise that he's gonna move into is bench dips. Again, if you don't have the bench, obviously at home, you can use your couch, you can use a chair, anything that you need to elevate your body. For the bench dips, he's gonna do 20 repetitions. Notice that the upper portion of his arm is breaking parallel to the ground. He's using full range of motion, not just short repetitions. That way he's stretching the muscles as far as possible through the entire exercise. Now that he's done with the bench dips, the next exercise that he's gonna move into is the quadruplex. For this, he's gonna hold the quadruplex for roughly 60 seconds on each side of the body, so starting with the right. As 
As you can see here, he's keeping his body in a generally straight line from the tip of his fingers all the way down to the base of his heel. You wanna make sure that you're keeping your core as tight as possible through this movement. And keep everything nice and contracted. As you can see here, the back foot, the toes are on the ground. This will help with a little bit of additional balance as you're going through this exercise. And then he's gonna go right into the next side. How's the workout? It's going good. Good home workout. Again, it's gonna be key that you keep that straight position all the way through your body during this exercise. Keep your core nice and tight. Next exercise that he's gonna do is the tricep kickback. So this is gonna be the first one where he's gonna pick up a dumbbell. Again, if you don't have dumbbells or anything at home, with the tricep kickbacks, you usually don't need a lot of weight. Uh, however, you can use any heavy weighted object in your home that has a handle to do some tricep kickbacks. Here he's gonna do 15 to 20 repetitions on each side. As he's doing it, he's making sure to contract in the triceps as much as possible, squeezing it nice and tight. As soon as he's done with the first side, he's gonna move right into the next side. You can see that he's keeping his upper arm completely straight. He's not moving his upper arm. All that's happening is that he's extending at the elbow and contracting those triceps in the back, nice and tight. After his 15 seconds worth of rest, he's gonna move into the next exercise, which is gonna be the dolphin push-up. Now the dolphin push-up's a little bit different variation of a push-up that's gonna help work the front of your shoulder blades. So as you can see, he's coming down on his elbows, almost like a plank position. However, he's gonna stick his, his glutes up in the air into an L. He's gonna come forward, bringing your shoulders towards the ground, and then he's gonna push his body back up. Here he's gonna do roughly 15 to 20 repetitions. Make sure that you're keeping your body tight throughout the entire movement. Now that he's done with that exercise, the last one, number eight, is gonna be the bent over row. Again, here you can choose any heavy object that you have at your home that has a handle. With this particular exercise, you can usually go a little bit heavier in weight. So if you have a, a heavy bag, you could take a milk jug, fill it up with sand, uh, or any other heavy object around the home. Utilize that. So as you can see, he's bringing the weight in a controlled manner straight up to his body. Using his upper back to pull the weight up from the ground. As you can see, he's keeping his body in a generally straight line throughout the movement. After you completed 15 to 20 repetitions on the first side, you're gonna switch over to the other side. Completing another 15 to 20 repetitions on that side. So again, as you can see here, he's keeping his body in a generally straight line. Basically just taking those elbows and he's shooting it straight back towards the ceiling. 
contracting in the upper back and in the biceps. And that's it for round one. So as you can see, we finished up the first round here. He's giving himself roughly about 90 seconds worth of rest between each round. Uh, no more than 90 seconds. Try and aim for that 60 second mark. Here he's gonna do anywhere from two to three rounds uh, to complete the exercise. Uh, and that's it. Hope you guys like it. Have a good one.